This is the Honor Pad X8A. It is a new budget tablet from Honor and it is not exactly designed for gaming but it runs on the Snapdragon 680 chipset which should be enough to run most of the games that are available on the Play Store. It has 4 gigs of memory, 120 gigs of eMMC storage. That is what helps drive the price down. However, eMMC is a much lower storage format compared to UFS, so expect that it should have an impact on loading times. Let's begin by playing Genshin Impact. So it's taking a while for your game to load, which is to be expected. It is a very heavy game, 20 plus gigs, almost 30 gigabytes in size. But finally, we're in game. All right, let's just double check visual effects. Also on high. All right, let's go. It is sluggish. Let's try to kill some peeps. Okay, it's way too sluggish for my taste. We're gonna bring it down to the lowest graphic settings. Still not ideal in terms of frame rate, but it is quite playable on lowest. If you notice, there is a bit of stuttering especially when you try to pan around that is when you start noticing the jitters the stutters because it loads the textures but otherwise once it has loaded all the files then things become much smoother Heading into our next game, it's PUBG. We are going to check the graphics. So as you can see, everything is on HD and high. We won't be able to go any higher. Option is not enabled on this device. Also for controls, gyroscope, where is that? Gyroscope, yeah, gyroscope is disabled. So that's what we're working with. Alright, so frame rates aren't that great. Graphics are so so. Oh. Alright, our next game is Mobile Legends. Let's see how fast or how smooth. Oh my gosh, it's taking a while to load the different skins. And that is the EMMC storage in action. Super slow. And let's see how, how fast we can finish loading compared to all the other players. So we're here. And we're still at 15%. The fastest players already finished loading. Now we just finished loading. But at least we're not the last to load. There are still others like this guy still at 9%. Could be due to network settings though. Alright, now we are in game. Let's quickly review graphic settings. Frame rate all the way to ultra, graphics all the way to ultra as well, which is surprisingly nice, especially for what is otherwise a lower mid range tablet.
All right. So far, the gameplay is quite good. Let's bring the volume all the way up. Yeah, so just a quick word on the controls. Since we're playing on a tablet, the buttons are a little further from your fingers. So it's a little awkward and it might take some getting used to. Hey, would you look at that? MVP. And we weren't even trying. On to our next, it's gonna be Asphalt 8. Let us first tweak the graphics. We're gonna go best quality. Let's just check and make sure that we don't have anything else running in the background. All right, that looks good to me. Oh, we have to restart. Let's bring the volume up. Graphics wise, the game looks good. Alright, I keep running into the sides because of the buttons, it's so hard to reach. But I am enjoying and having a good time with the screen, the display, really big. Alright, so we've been playing for a while now and I'm going to the screen looking for hot spots and I think I just found it. Seems to be right about here. 36 degrees. Let's check the back. There's a 37 degrees right about here. 36.5, 37. Then from here you can take a look at the back panel. This is the Space Gray variant. It is very well made. The finish is really nice. I just love this. Okay, so I'm double checking the front and looks like we're getting a hot spot near the selfie camera. Close to 37 degrees, 36.8 right about here. Before we end, here are a few benchmarks in Antutu. We scored 272,000 points. In PC Mark, we scored 8,237 points. In Pass Mark, we scored 6,700 points. But look at the disk read and write speeds, it's only around 200 megabytes per second. On to battery life, we average around 10 hours with the tablet running on Wi-Fi with Bluetooth turned on and the brightness calibrated to 200 CD per square meter. Then this is the thermal throttling test result. As you can see, temperatures went as high as 92 degrees Celsius, but performance dropped by only around 26%. Let's double check the next screen so as you can see total throttling of 26 percent over 10 minutes and temperature increase of 46 degrees so the honor pad x8a has a retail price tag of 7999 pesos but if you get it on sale you can get it for as low as 6999 pesos do you think that's a good deal for what you've seen so far is this something that you would game on? Let us know in the comments. And if you'd like to know more about the HonorPad X8A, we have other content on our YouTube channel. Just search for TechKuya. We'll see you guys there.